beautiful moving people hello welcome back to another video so in this video we'll be covering something that happened the past days while driving to the family and yeah it's like uh, it happens <laughs> and uh, join me on this ride let's go beautiful moving people here we are with with a bit of a situation it doesn't happen that often that is uh, so dramatic but it happened we called our um, beautiful uh, um, support team to come and uh, rescue us and uh, yeah it's uh, now waiting just to catch you up, I um, was driving like um, today, like I started driving and I realized that the, um, that Helix was a bit of overheating. I was like, okay, and I had it the past time, so I wasn't sure if it's like now something uh, super uh, dramatic, then it, uh, it kind of worked out again and uh, it cooled down and all this stuff and then um, just like uh, I don't know maybe two kilometers in the back the battery light went on and I was like eh okay now yeah I don't have much more uh, so I thought well, now let's wait and uh, I'm gonna park and then have a look at it and then at one point I see the the motor getting warmer and warmer and warmer and I was like Oh shit! Until I realized that you see the bit out there here. That's where the um, the cooling water goes in, and it was cooking. It was cooking. Wait a sec, I'm gonna put a, a shot as well. It was cooking, and Zag uh, immediately put the uh, the um, how do you say the warm bl blinker on and uh, pulled over and it was cooking and I thought oh shit hopefully I mean in general hopefully nothing happened to the motor because it when we stopped it was hitting the 100 mark temperature wise Celsius so yeah and I was a bit in shock for sure at this moment the good thing there was nobody behind me directly, nobody in front of me, so everything happened kind of in a safe uh, way. And uh, then I had a look underneath because I was like, oh, what is going on here? Up and I am. And then, ta ta! This is what's left of the. of the Kyle Rim, and I don't know how to call it in. Uh, in uh, in English, I'll put the name underneath. So basically, the the piece of uh, the piece that drives the generator and uh, the radiator. So the yeah, the batteries get charged and the um, the motor cools down. So yeah, that's it. So yeah, this is what happens on the road. Yoo helper here from Adiatse to like uh, if it's possible to film the whole process he said no nah, please no so I'm just filming from my perspective we've uh, put the baby onto the, the car uh, his car and uh, we are bringing it to where it can stand for the next days and uh, yeah updating you So here we are, 
a couple of days later uh, found the garage where I can get the, um, the V belt, the Kyle Riemann and uh, that's what we're doing now we'll be gone for a sec and uh, this doesn't work it's my kind of the handicap not able to ah okay not good anyways we went already and got it Ta -da! here we are Kyle Riemann Riemann Beltia Cinchia so yeah let's drive back and um, put it in and give it a go Shit. and here we are so got the the piece and we're ready to put it in let's go okay so then here's the old one you see completely ripped and this will land in the trash so need some uh, tools for it and we run it So, we have this and this. And let me show you where the, the B belt is going to. Anyway, this is the motor for people who didn't see it before. Uh, here, we have the generator. Here, we have the motor. That's where the drive should go. And then down. That's where the drive should be also. So, now we have to find a way to put it. And uh, that's it. And try it out. As far as I understand, we have to put it around the, the fan of the radiator and then turn mount. So, as you can see, we put it over the fan there and now it's like here on this side we're gonna put it like on, on the drive beneath me the drive on top and then we have to connect it with the drive of the jump So it's on and now I realize why I had to pull the generator when I changed the generator I had to pull it so far back because it was worn out so now we just pull it back a bit tidy up with the screws okay Tighten that bit up. Sorry if the angles of the video are not the super best. Okay, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna put the cap back on and uh, start the engine. And because I don't know, I had a bit of a shiz when. Uh, when the situation happened um, mm, I would like to put the cap on because I'm kind of new to this start the engine and wait a bit until it gets into a 
a normal temperature, let it run for a bit, and then I'll show you how it looks. Okay, change of plans. So, change of plans because uh, my brain always goes into the worst case scenario. Now I thought that if I started and there is something that didn't go uh, good, this thing will just pop out and hit me in the eye and like... Yeah, you understand. So, but in a rational way of thinking, it's on, it's safe, it's tight. Show, show, <laughs> nothing should go wrong. Let's see. So we wait a bit until the oil gets heated up and then let's do it. Though I'll be uh, keeping a safe distance <laughs> for my paranoia. Okay, let's go. Ready? Steady? Go. Everything's going good, looks good, it's rolling very good. Ah, let me show it to you. I'm sorry. Let's go again. So, cap on. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes of running and as you see the temperature didn't rise that much almost nothing which is I guess good um, so let's take the baby for a ride and see how it goes Came to the pack shop, short break, get some distilled water because you remember, remember it cooked all out of the tank, so not all, but you know, until now, update, that's it, looks good. So got it, direct refilling. Well, at least the belt is working. If it needed yeah, almost two and a half liter. Cook, cook. And here we come to the end of the video thanks for sticking by till the end and uh, hope you like this uh, style of video I'll try and document more of these situations for you just to see how things are like with an old car but in general and uh, yeah like for a short if I drove yesterday about 100 kilometers, 120 kilometers. The V belt was working really good. Um, I think it needs a bit uh, of adjustment to be done, and uh, which I'll be showing in the next one. And that's it. Stay healthy and happy. Hit the like and the subscribe if you are enjoying this. And. Um, Catch you on the next one. Bye. Cheers.